morning, you guys. You know whenever you see the suitcase, this is gonna be a big vlog. It's actually gonna be a very big day and then a very big week, and you guys are coming along with us. We are going to Florida today, and the reason why it's gonna be a big day is because we are not flying. We are actually going to be driving, and that is so we can bring our little girls with us. It is so incredibly hard to fly with these two. It's so incredibly hard to fly with dogs in general. Every single time we've done it, we've always run into a problem. So we are not going to be flying today. We are gonna be driving. I wish these little girls knew how much we loved them because if they only knew that we were driving for them, just for them to come along. So you guys know the drill. I think for the past two years, I brought you guys along on the vlog to go to Florida for Super Bowl. This is our new tradition. We had it up here all the time. We had a big party with a lot of food. And now that everyone's down in Florida, it's a great excuse to just go down there and be in Florida, see family, and then have a great finish to the week with the Super Bowl. So we gotta finish loading up the truck and then we are going to start our trip to Florida. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that whole drive because it's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be about going to the Outer Banks and back for us. So let's say we're leaving, we're going to the Outer Banks and then as soon as we get there, we gotta turn right back around. It makes it pretty bad whenever you think about it that way, but I'm just gonna keep reminding myself that Mike and I did the drive back from Colorado and if we can do that, we can do anything, I think. So I think today's gonna be hopefully okay and hopefully Hopefully we don't run into any traffic. We made it to the south of the border. What is it like? You go up there and look around? Let us know in the comments. Can you go up into the sombrero as if like you climb a lighthouse or something? The next stop is Bucky's and we are so excited to go to Bucky's. Right, Odie? Are you excited to go to Bucky's? We have made it to Bucky's, Bucky's. you guys. Boy, that crazy. I think this is my second or third time. Haven't been much because we don't have any. The closest, the closest one is one. South Carolina. So we're in South Carolina at Bucky's. Super excited to be here. We're gonna let the girls go potty and then we're gonna go in and get some fun snacks. All right, as usual, the lighting is not incredible. The sun is so awkward in the winter time. We have the girls blocked off back there so we can quickly eat without them being like up in our faces. But I just wanted to show you a few things that we got. So I got their Valentine's Day t-shirt. Heck yeah. Got it in an extra large so it's oversized and then I will wear this to bed. I love an oversized t-shirt. And then of course Mike got his mm. banana pudding. And a beef burrito. Ooh, that looks good. That actually looks really good. Some fresh pineapples, a little meat and cheese and pretzel type of thing. A club melt Mike got. And then there's some more stuff in the back. Like we got a beaver nuggets candle again. And then we got this beaver for oatmeal. She loved her old beaver. We actually had to throw him away because he was getting so gross. So we got her a fresh new one. And then we got a couple bags of the beaver nuggets, of course. So we're gonna enjoy those in Florida and then have our family try them as well because they've never been to Bucky. So I'm excited for them to try the beaver nuggets because they're like the best thing here. We officially made it to Florida. Now it is the next day because as soon as we got here last night, we just visited with family. We had a really late dinner. I think we got in around like maybe 10.45, which isn't too bad. So we got a full night's sleep, which was great. And the first thing that we are doing in Florida is visiting Three Sisters Springs. Now, we used to come back here and swim a lot, but they built this boardwalk that goes the whole way around, which is so awesome because you get to see the views from above and you get to see the manatees from above, which is really cool. There's some over there. For those of you that don't know, manatees are my favorite animals and Three Sisters Springs is the most gorgeous place ever. gosh you guys the manatees were amazing today there was so many babies it was just amazing so now we're back and we're gonna have some pizza for dinner this is hungry howie's this is my favorite pizza in florida and piglet's already over here bumming and getting some today is such an exciting day you guys we are going kayaking three sister springs is right across the street and that's where all the manatees are so we're gonna get out do a little kayaking but we are going to bring 
Peggy with us today. So I'm gonna put her little life vest on. She's done this before, she was a pro, and we are certain that oatmeal would absolutely hate it. Even though I brought her life vest along, I just know she would be miserable. So we're not gonna bring Odie along. But Peggy's gonna have a lot of fun, and we're gonna have just a day with our girl while oatmeal stays home with the fam and enjoys herself, because she's gonna be getting all sorts of snacks and cuddling, and she would definitely prefer to be home than doing this, for sure. gonna go home and nap mm -hmm. now. She's gonna nap so hard Good after day. that. There are so many manatees, you guys. Normally, like, this is when they start to go away and you don't see many. Like, they're here a lot in the winter, but February, March, it starts to become like if, if you're even gonna see many. So we were very lucky to see a bunch, tons of babies, and I'm not 100% sure if Piggy ever noticed any of them. So I don't think she really saw them, but, but she definitely saw the birds cool. and some other things. Yeah, there was a bunch of birds diving under the water and she saw those and she saw some fish and she would get pretty upset about that. So it's probably a good thing she didn't see the manatees, but it was a really great time and she's such a good girl. You guys won't believe it. Guess what we're having for dinner again? Hungry Howies. Look how big Pig is. Honey, I think you need to go on a little bit of a diet. I think she's having a little bit too much fun with the family. On the water today, she got mistaken for a manatee twice. But that did not happen. That didn't happen. But we did get Hungry Howies again. I think today's National Pizza Day, which is my favorite day, because pizza's my favorite. We are about to play a family game. Now, this family is known for charades. We're obsessed with charades, it's so much fun. But Rich gave me a game for Christmas and it's called Who's the Goat? I think I showed you guys on my Christmas vlog. Mike's throwing things at me. I mean, I think that was Mike. I thought that'd be funny. Hmm. Yeah. But it's called Who's the Goat? This is upside down. I'm throw it at you, just in the vicinity of the camera. So they could see. Mike is not obnoxious at all. Not obnoxious at all. No. It's who's the goat, and it sounds really funny. For example, oh. one of the things is uh, who's the best yodeler, and then you throw the goat at whoever you think is going to be the best, and then everyone has to yodel, and it's going to be hilarious. And Pig's really excited about it, I think, so. <laughs> Huge omelets. I'm not a breakfast guy, but this is good. But it's massive. We could turn you. Yeah, Mike like never no. eats breakfast. He always skips breakfast. But I just want to tell you guys, last night's game was epic. We had so much fun. We were laughing. It was great. We actually have one family member that may or may not be going to urgent care today because it got that intense. And I'm not joking either. So She's okay, but it got really intense. But we're enjoying our breakfast at the Biscuit Barn. Look how big that biscuit is. It smells good. We are about to head out and go kayaking again. We're not gonna bring either one of the girls this time because we're gonna focus on getting off the kayaks and swimming with the manatees. So we're gonna take the GoPro along and I'm gonna switch to some GoPro footage here for you guys so you guys can see some up close and personal manatees and hopefully we see a few babies for you guys. So I'm gonna switch to the GoPro footage now.
amazing day with all the manatees. We had a great time swimming around with them. I am wearing my new Bucky's t-shirt and I just made some banana pudding. It's in the fridge already, so it can set up overnight for the Super Bowl tomorrow. That's the dessert that I'm gonna be bringing. And then I am about to start making some buffalo chicken dip. So I'm gonna prepare that now, put it in its pan, and then it'll be all ready to go to just be popped in the oven tomorrow night and ready for the Super Bowl. I have a quick little story time for you all. I'm gonna try to sum this up really, really fast and I hope you guys listen because it's a pretty crazy story. Mike and I run into some pretty interesting things. Um, we took the girls for a walk around the neighborhood and there's two ponds in this neighborhood and we came across a pretty big turtle and we were letting Pig look at it and the turtle wasn't moving. I mean, we didn't have her near it but she was looking at it from a distance and normally they would run away and he wasn't doing anything. And then whenever I walked around, I saw this big red thing sticking out of this turtle. Now I'm going to give you guys a warning. Skip ahead because I'm going to pop up a picture of this turtle. Um, if you can't handle like gross things, I would say skip ahead because it's a pretty, I don't know, it's a pretty graphic picture. I would say skip ahead maybe like 30 seconds. But I walked around to the back and there was this red sack hanging out of this turtle and we thought that it was a prolapsed colon. So I called the wildlife rescue and I asked if they would be able to come and get it, but they said that we had to take it to the vet because they would not get there in time. This is an emergency. So we were like, oh my gosh, we are going to put this turtle in a container and take it to the animal hospital. <laughs> and that's exactly what we did. We got a big container from my uncle. We put the turtle in the container, the poor baby, and uh, we took it to the animal hospital. They were incredible. I think it was called Midway Animal Hospital. Best place ever. They were so accepting and so nice and they took the turtle right away without us even calling in advance and explaining the situation. Um, so we dropped him off. I filled out some paperwork. We also threw in a donation because I felt so bad just dropping off this turtle. Um, and having them have to do surgery on it. And then they said that the wildlife rescue would pick him up and take him back to his pond if everything went well. And also if things didn't go well, they would put him out of his misery because he would just die from this and it would be a slow, painful, awful death. And also he could get attacked by other animals. So it was really lucky that we found this little guy on our walk. And I'm sure so many people will think that we're crazy for saving a turtle, but that's your problem. Um, if you feel that way. So Mike and I, we just really love to help out wildlife. And that was one of our craziest stories yet with helping out animals. As you guys know, we found ducks before and we found all sorts of wildlife and we try to do our best to help them out. So the poor little guy, he's in good hands now and uh, hopefully everything goes good. But I just wanted to give you guys that little update. It's so crazy. All right, we are here now. I am not big into football, neither is Mike actually, but we are super interested to see, is this gonna be a rigged game? How many of you guys believe that this no. has been rigged the whole time? Just food going. looks insane. Bobby's eating the jalapeno, jalapeno popper, popper dip. Popper dip, yep. With bacon. I feel like that's a tongue twister. We're about to get a little chubby here. We got some Super Bowl plates, tons of chips over here and crackers, pulled pork. Uncle Chip's hand, potato salad, I think is what this is. Baked beans and some mac and cheese. Oh, and meatballs over here. Can't forget the meatballs. We just got home and all I'm gonna say is rigged. Sorry about it, but I think it's rigged. Possibly rigged, it all seems a little too convenient. But congrats to everyone involved. More importantly, Gina made this video of <laughs> the halftime show of Usher and Ludacris looking like the Globo Gym Purple Cobras. And I mean, these Look are at all, all the shares. shares. This is insane. Guys, and this is crazy. Up. It's blowing up. So this is exciting. This I is just more made... exciting than the game. <laughs> it is. I just made like a quick little like TikTok video wow. of Usher dressed like that. And then I put some Globo Gym clips in with some audio from the movie. And people are loving it. So that's great. Also, look at Tressa. This is how she's coping with the game. She's eating cereal out of a cup. There's no other way to do it. No. Honestly? It's, uh, I mean, there are other ways. What is my it? My um, wife is in shambles. There <laughs> are other ways low. to do it, but <laughs> this is the only way to do it. Not good. Cinnamon yeah. Toast Crunch, baby. Tressa, was the game yeah, right? It was a thousand percent right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's how everyone feels here. But um, I'm gonna close off the vlog here. We've had such an amazing week. We have a couple days left, so we're gonna soak up the warmth and enjoy it because it's supposed to snow at home tomorrow, which is crazy to think about. It was like 80 some degrees today. 
and it's gonna be snowing at home. So we're gonna keep some of the manatees, enjoying the warmth, and then we're gonna eventually have to go back to reality and work and home and cold. But we've had such a great time and we loved bringing you guys along. So hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.